Hey, welcome to Mike's Trains and thanks for joining me for another video. Um, this is part 28 in this series of doing the uh, train station yard. It's getting kind of big, but we're going to push along. So, in the, in the last video, I talked about how we were going to do some stuff up in the back here, as far as the backdrop and the bridge. Well, this bridge is actually going to be a little bit of work and I wanted to go into a little more detail on how how I'm going to do this so what's going to happen is I have a bridge that's going to cross over here it's going to be a road a, a regular road that's going to cross over this and the only reason I'm taking more time with this is because I'm, I'm sort of scratch building this bridge and there's also going to be a piece of mirror right down the back side of this that's going to go down and bypass the track here right down to the to the base and that's going to give the illusion when you're looking at it that the track continues well into the into places that don't exist because obviously there's a wall here um, so and I'm also in doing that I'm building I want to build these retaining walls on both sides of this that will hold up the bridge and this is what I want to take time to do in this video. What I have is this. This is one of these um, pre-made uh, kits to, to do a highway overpass. And these kits are fine. I, 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 I bought a bigger kit than I really needed. This has the bridge piers, as you can see here, but I, I don't need any of that. I didn't realize when I got it. Um, this is what we're going to use with a few modifications. So here's here's what comes with it. You have your directions here, of course, and then you have a whole bunch of parts. And I've already started working this a little bit. I haven't finished working it, but here's what you get. These are the girders that go underneath, and all of these parts right here, um, all of this, these go to the bridge piers. And then these little parts here are for covering up an end right on the end of the bridge right here. So if you end the bridge here so that you can make that hole, you would add this onto the end of that like this. And it gives the appearance so that it looks like this one. And then you have these little guys right here, these little wedges. These go underneath the bridge at each of those piers and give you a more finished look um, but we're not going to use any of this stuff so all we're concerned with this is the deck of the bridge this is more of the uh, the, the the piers that hold it up we're going to throw all that to the side I'm going to box all that up throw it in a drawer and we'll save it for a future project what we're concerned with these are the railings and this is actually I have more railing here than you get with the kit what you actually get in there is a section of rail two sections of railing which only goes from here to the end you get that that's how long the bridge is it's not quite four inches it's like three and three quarters give or take uh, yeah so this goes from here to here yes yeah, four inches okay and you get two of those, one for each side. Well, I had some extras. These are also what I used on the train station when I built the road. And this is actually the uh, the uh, railings I put on the side of that that bridge, or, you know, in front of the train station. So I had some left over, and I've already attached these two together, and I finished off this piece, which involves uh, gluing them together. So here's one that I've, I've only gone as far as gluing together. Uh, you can see the seam is right here, but there's a lot of extra flash on here. You know, little bits and pieces of things. This is where it was glued to the, where it was uh, attached to the parch tree. And then when you look on the top, there are, you know, edges of this that need to be taken down. Little molding lines. Um, so that's what I'm going to take care of right now. Let me get, a, get my file. Hopefully a file works. Usually I use sandpaper, but yeah. 
I can't I can't be bothered so we're gonna sand those things right off of there now when I did the the uh, railing in front of the train station I went a lot further with this than I'm gonna go with with this set of railings only because they're in in plain view and they're right up front and you can see everything okay so now the bottom is flattened out here okay now we have to handle this joint this is the joint right here where the two pieces are, are put together so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my file now this I have to use the file on we're just gonna take this and go right over this joint and then on the top of the joint as well I'm gonna hit this and then on the back side this is the part that goes on the inside of the bridge okay so now we're cleaned up here everything's even you can't really see the joint at all the only thing that's showing now are the tops of these and the top of the railings so I'm gonna take my knife and I'm just gonna drag and, and just kinda rub that off of there so it, it just a little bit of work and you can get these matching up so that you'd never know that that's a joint okay I don't know if this shows it all on the camera probably not yeah well you can kind of see it um, there, are, there are small circles right there right in the center of each of these um, we just want to yeah if I kind of flash it you can kind of see them those will show after it's painted so we want to get that off as well so what I'm gonna do is take my flat blade and we're gonna take those parts off as well All right, so that's all done. Now, the last step for this is the green scrubby pad that I use. And I'm just gonna take this, I'm gonna push it into this little lip down here. And I'm just gonna scrub that clean. And that gets off any excess plastic that might have got on there. So there's another finished railing. This is the outside of the railing. This is the inside of the railing. And this is done. Now we're ready to, to do the road surface. Now the road deck, the kit comes with this. And you can see it's already scored to be panels, you know, concrete panels in the road. Well, I don't really want that. I, I want a smooth road surface. I want it to be a tarred road, not a concrete road. So this piece here not to mention as well it's a little too short and in using this this extra long railing this double long this road piece obviously is too short so I'm gonna throw this away I'm gonna put that in the pile with everything else what we have for that is I hit my scrap styrene bin and all my scrap styrene, bigger pieces like this, I'll mark the size, the thickness. This is 40 thousandths. And what I have, which I'm gonna do now, is the piece of 40 thousandths. I'm just gonna go down the edges and pull off the raised part of the styrene. I'm gonna go around all the sides of it. Now this is the same thickness as the road surface that, that came with the bridge. So we can put this on top of here and see in doing this, if you do this with the kit, you can make this road surface as wide as you need it. I mean, it can be a parking lot, it could be anything you want. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut this the same width as this road
Okay, so now we have a double long road surface. Now this is more than long enough. As you can see, this one piece is, is almost the length of two of these. And I'm going, we're gonna end these like this and glue these together. And that's gonna give us our long length of road that we need to have for this. Okay, you never want to glue the styrene like this on anything that can be ruined because the glue will go through the plastic and it will ruin whatever's underneath. All right, so what I have here, this is a very thin piece of styrene. It's, um, I think it's like 10 thousandths. Um, it's more than enough. And we're gonna run this right down the center. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the glue again. And that's gonna strengthen this just enough to, to, to keep this together and we can do what we need with it. And that's on the bottom side, so it'll never show. You'll never see it. And the only reason I need to do this, like I said, is because it's a butt joint and we don't want that to uh, come undone. So now we have this, and you can feel just a little bit of this. So, just going to take the sandpaper now I can see where I'm at I can see this piece here is a little bit higher than this side I don't know if it shows on video but there's a little bit of gloss shine on this side of the line right here and right here there's really no shine at all it's the same on both sides so I want to I want to sand this until that shine is gone So that'll go like that, and then we'll take the green pad again, and we'll just smooth that down. And this will get rid of all the heavy sand marks that we just put in it. See, so now when this gets painted, that seam is totally invisible. So now we have this. Now I have to bring this back downstairs, and we have to mark out. So this is gonna go to the edge of the layout, and then we have that little bit of landmass here. Then we jump over the track and then we have another landmass here. Now what I want this road to do is when it comes from the edge of the layout here, I want it to curve and I want it to go into the wall. All right, I just kind of want it to disappear into the wall. So in order to do that, what I may need to do is add some more styrene onto the end over here like this yeah I think we'll do that right now so we're gonna mark this off and there we go now I may need to add another one I don't know we may need to add another one to get this curve in here and be able to hit the wall. Now's the time where I gotta go downstairs and we have to match this up with our spot and see where the curve exactly needs to be. So let me go down there and do that. And when I come back, we'll finish this roadway off. All right, so now we're back. I've gone down and I've measured everything. And what I've actually added was this little curve right here at the end. And what's going to happen is you, you can also see this is where I marked off where the, the railroad tracks go underneath. So this is the full length of that gap. So what's going to happen when, when this goes on the layout, this will butt up against the wall over here. This butts on the edge of the layout. And when you, if you happen to be on the edge, and I know some people who come here and look at my layout, and they want to look down every nook and cranny and see what goes where. When you look down this road, we'll stripe this right around the corner, it'll go right into here, and then we'll have trees all along here. And we'll do some uh, 
leaf trees to go up over the road and it'll dis it'll it'll kind of bury up this little end into the wall right here and then I'll probably maybe we'll just paint the wall like a green gray kind of weird color so that you know you can't you don't have a clear view as to where it goes it just goes off into the woods and that takes care of that now for the bridge itself we have this now this obviously is too long for this and I want to have it so that these pieces right here these uprights end right here I don't want to have one of these like this okay so I want to cut this off but we need to get the length so if I take this piece right here and we add it into here so now we're coming down to this one why don't I cut off this end one first like that okay we'll need to sand and file this a little bit to even it up but that gets us close to the neighborhood so if this goes like this you can see if I put this right to the edge here we're just missing this one right here so we have this whole length here so what I'm going to do is I'm going to split the difference so if I pull this out so we have these pieces these uprights right in the middle here so on my lines here I'm just going to mark this so I have one two and on the third one so I have one two and I'm not quite on the third one so I'm just going to pull this back and we're going to center it up like that so that means I'm cutting off this one and this will hang out past the bridgeway just a little bit which is kind of what I'm looking for and then we end up like that and now it's just a matter of trimming this one to go onto this side same way and then the whole deck of the bridge the whole top of the bridge will be done next part is going to be uh, the next step is going to be to do the I-beams underneath this so let me get all this straightened out get these piers on here no I can't put the piers on yet I have to paint this road this is going to be a tarred road so I have to I have to paint this asphalt color I have to paint these concrete color and then we can put the two together so let me get this together and we'll come back in a little bit well, this will be painted these will be painted we can put these together okay so I took everything to the spray booth and I sprayed it all so here are our side rails these are all the beams that go underneath the bridge and then this is our road um, I painted this as well and this is what we come up with uh, I think it came out pretty good I weathered it uh, I sprayed this I did this with the airbrush and we're ready to go with this so the next uh, point of order for this is going to be we need to glue these rails onto the bridge here these go like this so what I did and you'll notice they're a little bit skewed from each other and that's because this sits at a somewhat of a slight angle on the layout as as it goes so these sit a little bit skewed from each other and I kinda like the look of it I, I think it, it it gives it a little bit more character and a little bit more of a, of a realism um, so what I'm gonna do to glue these on what I did was I brought this down to the layout and I added when, once I set this in place I added marks I set these I line these up on the on the roadway and I put some small tick marks at the end of where this railing goes I got one right here and one right here and what we're gonna do is take a little bit of the CA I'm gonna run that we're gonna run a, a little bit on the paper
Okay, so there's our, our, our bridge railings. And that's what we end up with. And I, th I think that looks pretty good. These are the girders that go underneath. And they gave me a lot of these. I have six of them. What I need to do is we need to figure out where to start these I-beams because I don't need to make these. Uh, they're not going to be as long as this railing. So I suppose that the next thing to do would be to go downstairs and take some measurements of how long these beams need to be and from where to where on here they need to run. Okay, so now back upstairs. We can take this now and add our beams underneath. Um, I think I'm actually going to use the I-beam showing on the outside. So this is our inside, uh, the outside that shows to the layout. So we want to take this, let's flip it this way. Now, I'm just going to divide the distance, uh, the, the, the difference between what's left. I'm going to end up putting four across. So that's our, that's our bridge, like this. So when you're looking at it, you're only going to see this. You won't see all the rest of that. So I'm not worried about the spacing underneath. I don't really care. But if somebody does get under there, they're all there. Oh, the one other thing I do want to do, and I think I am going to add these, are these small uh, pieces, these little guys right here, these guys, I think I'm going to add these. So these go on to this side. A little bit of CA on the top and down the back. They'll just add a little bit more interest to the bridge. I'm not going to measure them out. I'm just going to eyeball them into place. So then we end up like that. All right. And then I'll just do, we have to do some weathering under here just a little bit. Let me stop this. We'll do a little bit of weathering under there, and that'll finish that up just fine. Um, so that's it. So, and I'm not going to bother adding them, adding them to this second side here because it's just, there's, there's just, you're not going to see it. So I can't see adding details to sides you can't even see, right? So this is to the wall. We don't care. This shows out. We want to take care of that. So anyway, I, I think that's going to be it. And there's our finished bridge. Um, next week we'll handle these these bridge abutments we'll get these in these are spare parts we'll deal with the, with the uh, bridge abutments for this next week i think we've gone on long enough for one video and uh yeah so that's that's going to be it so um if you're finding me for the first time uh please subscribe if you like what you saw and i hope you did i hope everybody enjoys um, please subscribe. Love to have you along for the ride. And if you haven't already and you're looking for more pictures of my layout, you want to see more stuff that I've done, um, you can find me at mikestrains.wordpress.com. Um, there are more pictures of my website. There are some, there's, uh, they're here on YouTube as well. They're on YouTube, uh, video tours of my layout. If you if you're curious and interested to see, if you can't find them on YouTube stuff, you can find them on my website. Um, but they're all there. So, anyway, until next time, happy modeling.